I'm going to be showing and discussing blood typing while defining terms that you need to know, as well as discussing blood donations and receiving blood, and I'll be clearing up the most common confusions about blood donations. Let's take A blood as our first example. A blood has a antigen on the cell membrane, and antigens are simply proteins that exist on our cell membranes that are used in recognition. If A blood is exposed to B blood, which has the B antigen on its cell membrane, it will elicit an immune response producing anti-B antibodies that will attack the B blood cells and cause clotting or clumping. One term used for clotting or clumping is agglutination, which is usually used for in vitro clotting or clumping, like in petri plates when doing blood typing. Coagulation refers to in vivo clotting or clumping, meaning inside the human body, which can have detrimental effects. Just like with the A blood example, if B blood is exposed to A blood, it will elicit an immune response, producing anti-A antibodies, which will attack the A blood cells and cause agglutination or coagulation. O blood has neither A nor B antigen on its cell membrane, which means if O blood were exposed to A blood, for example, it would produce anti-A antibodies because the A antigen is considered foreign to the O blood because it does not have A antigen. So the anti-A antibodies will attack the A blood and cause clotting. Likewise, if O blood were exposed to B blood, it would elicit an immune response producing anti-B antibodies, attacking the B blood, and causing clotting or clumping. If O blood were exposed to AB blood, which has both the A and B antigens on the cell membrane, it would elicit an immune response producing both anti-A and anti-B antibodies, causing agglutination or coagulation. Since A, B, and AB blood all caused an immune response, you may have concluded that O blood can only receive O blood donations. AB blood has both the A antigen as well as the B antigen on its cell membrane, so if it were exposed to A blood, it would not elicit an immune response because it recognizes the A antigen on the A blood. It's the same thing if AB blood were exposed to B blood, it would not cause an immune response because it recognizes the B antigens on the B blood. If AB blood were exposed to O blood, it also would not elicit an immune response because there are no antigens on O blood cell membranes to produce antibodies for. As you just saw, AB blood never produced an immune response, not when exposed to A, B, or O blood. This is because AB blood has both the A and B antigens, and therefore neither A nor B antigens are considered foreign to AB blood. So, AB blood individuals cannot produce anti-A or anti-B antibodies, making AB blood the universal recipient, meaning it can receive blood from A, B, or O blood donations. Now, if A, B, or AB blood were exposed to O blood, and as you recall, O blood has neither the A nor B antigen on its cell membrane, it would not elicit an immune response because there are no antigens to produce antibodies for, making O blood the universal donor, meaning O blood can be donated to any of the other blood types, A, B, or AB blood. Any one of the four blood types I discussed, A, B, AB, and O, can be positive or negative. Now let's talk about positive versus negative blood. Positive blood has a third antigen type on its cell membrane, which is sometimes referred to as the rhesus factor and sometimes referred to as the D antigen. Negative blood does not have the D antigen, so if it's exposed to positive blood with the D antigen, it may elicit an immune response that causes anti-D antibodies to be produced and attack the positive blood causing clotting. Positive blood has the D antigen, so if exposed to negative or positive blood, it will not elicit an immune response. Here's a summary of the blood types, their genotypes, the antigens they have, the antibodies they produce, 
and who they can donate to and receive from. If you click the link in the description below, you can get your own copy of the summary table, plus extra notes on the confusions and frequently asked questions about blood donation, as well as what the deantigen immune response does to human beings, and what blood typing has to do with transplants. Simple as that.